HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information. Dead. Current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us. Look with at the size of this city. At any time. It Children is absolutely incredibly huge. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, this is made by Techland, who most recently did the Dead Island franchise, including Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. Another company is handling Dead Island 2, while they, of course, worked on this. This is a bit of a redo, though, I must admit, because the first two videos I made were hit by a music copyright claim, so I've disabled the music for this playthrough and will be redoing the first sections. That wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his leg. Uh -huh, don't you guys look friendly? Back up! All of you! Stop! Not so friendly. Loud noises draw them. Oh! Definitely not friendly beating a random person like that. Fall what the hell are Fall they back. thinking? Seriously? So we take a beating, get bit, get rescued. At least these guys are more friendly than the last people we met. I do apologize for those who watched the first ep the first few episodes of this. You don't have to watch the first few episodes of this one if you don't want to. It would be appreciated, though. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Tower, this is Jade. Get sick bed ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. Oh, I feel sorry for Amir. He died trying to save me. I appreciate it, but... Survivor's guilt, man. It's a hell of a thing. He died saving my life. You pinch him. You're scared. You're not scared. Then pinch him. Uh, this part is funny. He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? <laughs> uh. Oof. Been out for a while. If I remember, it's been what, three days? 
You sleep for three days like a dead yep, man. Three days. Children. <laughs> Off to a great start, thirty one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room one nine. Some paradise. What do you mean thirty one? Ask the boss. <laughs> all right, all right. Thirty one. That's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Thirty-one infected and only seven runners left. Amir died because of this guy? Quiet! Fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get a meal Santisitis. Weird lighting effects, I will admit that. <laughs> I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Uh then the whole number thing is a little weird, but but whatever. Yeah, I'm looking for the. Are you Heck the of a boss? view from here, though. That's for what, sure. Too young. You got the problem with my age. No, I. You wanted to talk to me. That's better. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can. I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting air Nice drops, name. Not very creative, though, yeah, considering it's thank that girl. in a tower. Good. Because of not sort of. You'd already some be sort chewing of some of this uh, large apartment building. Was totally crushed by the way. It. Or maybe it was a hotel. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh great! So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine, mm. take it. <laughs> you know my runners put their lives Thanks. in danger for guys like you. So now you take the antigen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. <laughs> we don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. Uh, and I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Yeah, too Reckon's young. in charge here. And I believe you're, you're what? Jade's younger brother, if I'm correct. I'm not lazy, you little shit. <laughs> uh, I'm not lazy, you little shit. One one thing is, strikes me as weird. However, the elevator has a like a regular door on it. This is Where the elevator door. Thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for. It, it's just a regular 13th? door. It, it, you don't see that very often, if at all, work. nowadays. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yeah, I guess we do. Time for me to prove myself a little bit. Jesus, how many people died here? Way too many. Look at all the blood and guts and stuff all over. That's just nasty, man. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence. Okay. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. The whole blue tint thing whenever he's on the radio with the GRE. It's a little weird. What the hell? Don't know why that does that happens, but. Ooh, we got a pipe. Yep, 
Hi, bye. Jesus, you, you all right, man? <laughs> I cut my What's with a pool of away from him? tomato soup oh, in the God. bathtub behind you? you oh wait, to kill that's you, not tomato you? soup, is it? <laughs> no, God, uh, that, that's got to be bloody water. That was, that Get all the blood mother. around here. I hope that's not all yours. Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it, is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. All right. Hold still. Lena will Anything be here. Anything I can do to help? Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will Is stop the, the booze beating. for you or for your wound? Because <laughs> uh, honestly, I think okay. either way right it back. would work for you. <laughs> Metal parts. Make a whole bunch of fun stuff with this. With this and. Eh. That's got to be used later on for something. Like maybe we have to evacuate the tower and we have to jump out or something? I don't know. That's, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Actually, your guess might be better than mine. This game's been out for a week now. Booze. Sweet. Anything else? Missing anything? No, can't go in there. No. All right. Duct tape. Duct tape's good for anything. Just ask the MythBusters. Electronics. Nice. And here's the gauze. Okay, I think that's Sweet. everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Come on. Oh, right, I actually need to make it. There you go. That should help a bit. May not be the okay, best thing, hurt? but He's pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Again with the primitive. I worked with what I had, okay? Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. All right, fair enough. Well done, thirty-one. Thank you. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yes, yes, yeah, you may. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Sounds good to me. Off to the roof, I believe, from here. Or where we go? Nah, here first. Okay. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? <laughs> well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous. You know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing <laughs> lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. 
Fair enough, I'll do what I no can. No explosives, Rahim. Yeah, what she said, no explosives. That being said, you have any other ideas? So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the Aside from the Brecken fact they're probably do. covered with blood Only and sweat? Change. Yeah. I'm going to wager a guess and say, yeah, there is something wrong with the clothes you're wearing. I should probably turn off hints because I, <laughs> I know all most of the hints now. Is there a way to turn them off? Game off. Okay. All right. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, thirty-one. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Jim? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple fights up. Is there anything in here? Oh, hello. Anything lootable around here? Storage, huh? Holy stockpiles. Look at all this food and water and... Man, these guys know what they're doing. Now that's how you freaking survive an apocalypse right there. Dude, you mind not standing there with the freaking electrical box sparking like that right on top of you? Yeah, you might want to get that fixed. Raheem, okay. I don't see you. Where are you? Um... Holy crap. Dude! You're gonna fucking kill somebody, and how the hell did he end up over there anyway? Wasn't he, like, literally just that downstairs two seconds ago? Very funny. Alright. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. Looks like we're going gym rat again, huh? Run. Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Ah, oh, that's no problem. Myself. That's like, what, six, seven man. stories up? Falling on a pile of Come garbage on, and mattresses and stuff? Watch this. Yeah, sure, we'll be fine. If we don't break a couple bones first. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You, you bastard. Come on. Dude, that's not Get funny. Down here. Broken Christ bones and shit's crush. very fucking serious when it comes to the apocalypse. Holy oh, shit! Holy shit! Okay, let's see. There's at least two stories up past that, so. And we're four, five stories down from the roof, so. Let's say seven stories. Seven, eight stories from where I jumped. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Alright. Let's see that. One, two, three, four, plus maybe another two stories. So, maybe six stories. Six or seven stories. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Alright, thanks for the advice, dude. Try not to slow down once you 
start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Thanks for the advice. For a noob. Hey, don't call me a noob. I've done this shit before. Oh really, I have. Get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell eats no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. Ah. I fell. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a bit of a noob. Come on, keep moving. Gotcha. Oh. The cliffhanger always was the most challenging event in Ninja Warrior. I, you have no, I've seen so many people okay. fail at it. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Thank you. Talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Pardon no, me. definitely never done this before. This was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything no, like definitely not a spy. Wait, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> All right. Back on over to the tower. What? Oh, hello. Not good, not good. Heck of a time to have a seizure when I'm on a freaking crane over... Something went wrong. Raheem, oh. what just happened to me? Let's push onward. Heck of a place to have a seizure, man. Uh, while rod walking on a freaking crane. Hey, listen to the winds. I'm surprised the winds don't blow me off. <laughs> and I can run again. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Uh, most likely no. At least not yet. Yeah, Caesar's reminded not right that now. you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Sounds like a plan to me. Though, don't I already have something? Well, whatever. What I, I still have that pipe, don't I? And Oh, hey, it stopped sparking. Cool. Somebody actually did some work. While I was away, apparently. Alright, heading on down. Moving on up by going on down. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, you're a bit this of a is for dick, you. aren't you? By the way, 
Word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antisense. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. I can Whole imagine. Damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear All that right. Mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a bit of a dick. I don't like you very much. I will take all your stuff, though. Thank you. Catalog. Anything else? Nice weather, isn't it? No entry use elevators. No, can't get in here. All right. How you doing? All right. Moving on out. Going outside, yeah. Okay, okay. We've lost too many already. I'll do what I can. Don't worry too much about me, though. Though, thanks for the concern. It's always appreciated. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zeta set up in a semi trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's cool. Alright. That was kick. the wrong right button. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. Rusty wrench. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Good to know. Ooh, blade. I'll take it. Hello, up to Daisy. Nice. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Yeah, if they do, you guys are a little screwed, aren't you? Come on, Doctor? open up. Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? At least not yet. It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests. You know, I always figured that if a zombie outbreak were to happen, it would be a variation of rabies, because it makes Definitely. the most sense, really. Oh, shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now where did I put that in? Possibly even a mutated combination of rabies and malaria. A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio. Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. Huh. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, 
All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? <laughs> All right. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like. And... Raheem, Zara checked me out and oh, gave wow. me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Roger that. Alright, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like, and until next time, have a good one.